Good morning, viewer. Ben the sir. Here's the breaking news. Yeah, a study has revealed a more efficient method for creating methanol. For years, chemists have been striving to synthesize valuable materials from waste molecules. Now, an international team of scientists is investigating how electricity can simplify these processes. In their study recently published in Nature, catalysis researchers demonstrated that carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, can be converted into type of liquid fuel called methanol in a highly efficient manner. This process happened by taking cobalt, that is called COPC molecules, and spreading them evenly on carbon nanotubes. Graphene-like tubes that have unique electrical properties on their surface was an electrolyte solution which by running an electrical current through it allowed COPC molecules to take electrons and use them to turn carbon dioxide into methanol. Using a special method based on in situ spectroscopy to visualize the chemical reaction, researchers for the first time saw those molecules convert themselves into either methanol or carbon monoxide, which is not the desired product. They found that the path the reaction takes is decided by the environment where the carbon dioxide molecules react. Turning this environment by controlling how the COPC catalyst was distributed on the carbon nanotube surface allowed carbon dioxide to be as much as 8 times more likely to produce methanol. A discovery denote could increase the efficiency of other catalytic processes and have a widespread impact on their field, said Robert Baker, co-author of the study and a professor in chemistry and biochemistry at the Ohio State University. When you take carbon dioxide, and convert it in to another product, there are many different molecules you can make, he said. Methanol is definitely one of the most desirable because it has such a high energy density and can be used directly as an alternative fuel. While transforming waste molecules into useful products is not a new phenomenon, until now researchers have often been unable to watch how the reaction actually takes place. A crucial insight into being able to optimize and improve the processes. We might empirically optimize how something works, but you don't really have an understanding of what makes it work or what makes one catalyst work better than another catalyst, said Baker, who specializes in surface chemistry. The study of how chemical reactions change when they occur on the face of different objects. These are very difficult things to answer. Be in this exclusive report.